Megan Herbrick has worked at the Old Pink House for only a month, but that's long enough to know all about the history and the hauntings of this downtown Savannah restaurant. This is our conference room, it's what we call it. It was built in 1812 when it was the bank. One of the guests that I had asked me why this room is blue, and I found out that this room is this color blue because the number one religion in Savannah is blue. One of the voodoo teachings is that spirits, be they angry or friendly, cannot cross water or anything that resembles water, which is why this room is a water shade of blue. They figured back in 1812 that being as how so many other people had already died here and the house was not even that old, that maybe this would stop some of the spirits. And it didn't because they're still here. So. <laughs> Number one advice whenever you come to the tavern is do not use the ladies' restroom downstairs. Go upstairs and use it up there. Don't use it down here. And it's because once this place gets hopping, these little children spirits like to lock women in the bathroom and we've had such a tough time with that that they've actually taken the locks off the doors and they still get stuck in there. Uh, yes, this place is said to be haunted by Mr. Habersham himself in addition to the slave children. There are a lot of rumors that say that he hung himself down here, which would be why it would be so haunted. We also know that Mr. Habersham only haunts the basement six months out of the year. That's it. And it's not right now. It starts in October, it ends in March, and that's just the way it is. But he was one of those pin neat gentlemen that was very a place for everything and everything in his place. So sometimes if a server leaves their station kind of haphazard and messy, like this, they'll come back when there's no one else down here and it'll be perfectly straight. And we're like, thank you very much, you made our job easier. As far as my experiences go, I was giving a tour down here the other day and I had a family and they were awesome. They had a little boy who was about five years old. This door began to open and close. And the reason that that's very strange is because obviously no one is in there. And the reason that you can tell no one is in there is because the second a person steps in here, the lights come on. So if there were a person in here opening and closing the door, the lights would have been on and we would have seen who it was. But it was opening and closing and it was completely dark and there was no ventilation in that room. So it's not like the wind could have done it. And even then the door is quite heavy. So I, yeah. He was like, <gasps> So as I was walking through here with my trainer, who thinks I'm a little nuts anyway, because I was all into the ghost haunting stuff, she, or I stopped her, and she worked here for quite some time, and I was like, have you ever seen that in the door over there? And she was like, no. I'm like, well, look at it. And it's a face. There is a face in the door very clearly right here. And that, she said that wasn't there? No, the and I asked a number of other servers as well, people that I don't even know, nighttime servers that I'd never met, and I was like, have you ever seen that? And they were like, no, I've never seen that. And then I thought at first, maybe they are just trying to play a trick on the new girl, but then if you touch it, you realize it's ingrained in the wood. There's no way that anybody could have made that.